interesting and do you call it interesting yeah it's an interesting video um clip from no what the fox next door a show on no jumper that adam 22 saw pushing where he's provided a platform for selena powell a known skis bag in hip-hop and a couple of her friends who are also known to be a little bit loose and they essentially sit down and air out everyone's dirty laundry right that's essentially the premise of the show if you are a young athlete rapper who has some kind of pigment in their skin you will have somehow been subjected to these young ladies sexual advances not, not obviously the third lady i think she happens to be chief keith's baby mother called slim danger which is a very appropriate name for somebody that will be carrying or has looked after or is the mother of chief keith's um child i'd assume they'd be called that but um yeah it's an interesting one because i was just thinking about like especially being a fan of no jumper and watching you know hit grow and also watching adam sort of evolve the show evolve the channel evolve the store and whatever he's doing outside of it it's interesting to see him kind of pivot in this direction really sort of leaning of course out of, out of outside the show he's sort of leaning in really hardcore into the porn right he's continuing to film scenes with his um illustrious um sex worker girlfriend i'm not sure if they're engaged not too sure but they've, they've sort of like carving their own lane um Lena the plug is smashing it on only fans from what i've hear she's doing very well i haven't checked it i don't know anything about it but from what i hear a grapevine she's doing very very well and he's sort of leaning into it, isn't it he sort of decided hey this is my thing but then he's also decided to provide he's also decided to turn no jumper channel into an anti-69 channel and also a platform to denigrate um some prominent black athletes and rappers who i think are probably beyond reproach i think there's people that you don't necessarily for instance him this no he didn't decide did did selena power i'm not too sure if that was a thing i'm not sure if selena power had I'm not sure if she aired out Snoop Dogg before this show, but let's let's imagine my timeline works and Selena Power aired out Snoop Dogg when she was on No Jumper. There's a part of me that thinks Selena Power and Co have some really high, high class bodies on them, right? They have some big names, right? Not some play play people. So part of me thinks, hey, it might be risky if you're if you're um, Adam to essentially put yourself in a position where you're providing these girls a platform for it because it's it might end up hurting deals that you have coming in the future that you have no idea have any correlation with that sort of thing right that's how the industry basically works you kind of have to play nice to everybody because you never know who might end up being bloody you know the program director of a radio station or the a and r manager of whatever red label and you have to kind of pretend to be that's that's the funny thing about in the entertainment world everyone's sort of pretending to be nice to each other because they're worried that this person might end up being the next you know jay-z or something it's insane um or leo cohen or whatever right but part of me thinks like maybe providing these girls a platform to speak you know very badly or negatively or to expose some secrets that probably don't need to expose about certain individuals in hip-hop or in you know hip-hop culture or in black culture in general in america might be very detrimental to his overall success of the channel and where he ends up going he might just have painted himself into a corner now where he won't have the opportunity to maybe interview some of the people that he wants because of the association that that channel has with these kind of skeezies slag skets whatever they make would they take offense if you called them a skit i wonder if they would like I, I don't think so right i think other people would probably get offended if you refer to them as slags because they'll be like oh there's no different to like men doing that but it's like yeah it's different it is it really is that's the way the world works in it unfortunately some people do one thing and it's not one you know for instance that lady that's been accused of blackfishing what's her name um jessica krug right she's no different to you know an ariana grande for instance but you know no one says anything about ariana grande because people love her when people don't actually like you or if you have a disagreeable personality it makes it easier to pick apart what you do and sort of dismiss you in some way shape or form but i don't know man i just look at this sort of stuff and i think like what is the point of this like why would you give these girls a platform to do this sort of thing and of course it's up, it's up to them they can do what they want with their bodies they're free but would you want to be remembered like this is this this is like the weird evolution or the natural evolution of like superhead you remember superhead from back in the day right she read that tell-all book and do you remember how big of a deal superhead was when she read that book that was a big deal man like she revealed you know 
intimate details i think about little wayne or somebody is like god damn it you never knew these sort of things and now you hear the stuff about oh beckham supposedly and it doesn't even it, it it was in a news cycle for what a day at best and it just kind of got forgotten about which is maybe a good thing it, oh it's definitely a good thing if you're if you're obj but i'm not too sure if this is the best tactic for adam 22 going forward that's just basically my opinion on it and again i have no need to play it i don't really care if you want to find it go find it yourself and if you want to find out why what your favorite american football player is into in a bedroom i don't really want to know that i never do it's always annoying when you stumble upon a story or an expose on somebody on social because it happens to pop into your feed via the algorithms and you end up finding out a bit of information about people that you don't need to find out right it's like why do i know this you know um, this is another one of those kind of examples. So yeah, let's move.